Oh, 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 video time. Oh, video time. Video time. Wait, what's up? Uh, what's up? No, no, no. Wait, what's up? What's up, everybody? It's two what's ups. It's two what's ups. Uh, today, we're going to do something that we didn't, uh, we, we've, we haven't done before. I noticed a lot of people are asking about uh, the summoning stone monsters. Um... Every week. Like, I notice people are always like, Oh, how do I ruin this? How do I ruin that? How do I, how, where do I use this? How do I use this? How do I use that? But a lot of times, people are asking about the, and I'm sorry about the echoes again. Uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about this, this echo situation. I can't just, like, plaster egg cartons all over my wall, although I should, right? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, a lot of people are asking, and I notice, like, it's usually, that's not always, it's not always, a lot of times it's not, but I notice, more often than not, it's the monsters from the Summoning Stones that week. That they're like, how do I ruin this? How do I ruin that? I saved Summoning Stones for this. I got this instead. I don't really know how to use it. So I thought we'd go over uh, some of the Summoning Stone monsters. So we're, we're, we're trying a little, something a little bit new uh, today. So let me know if you guys... No, don't let me, don't let me know anything. Because every time you let me know something, it's like, Jubega, this sucks ass. Dislike. Go die in a fire. Thanks, guys. So sweet. And yes, I will summon the mystical scroll. God damn it! I know you. I know. I know. So we'll talk about uh, a little bit uh, where to use these monsters, how to ruin these monsters. First, uh, on the list for this week, we we got a we got a few. It's like tanky bruiser nat five week. Uh, first on the list for this week, we have the Dragonite Chow. YouTube people are. This is not on high on the people's wish list, but then they get him. Like you know what? I do use him for like Guild Wars. Uh, sometimes they use him for World Arena. He's kind of like a tanky bruiser, like double immunity kind of uh, World Arena monster, though. Uh, and I think usually, usually used uh, in in Guild Wars more than anything right now. Uh, we've got this Dragon's Might continuous damage. Uh, we've got this Justice Channel's Burning Rage to inflict great damage to an enemy. Damage increases according to the number of dead allies. Uh, and then we have so if he's the last one standing, he can't be heal blocked. And he's got big HP, so a lot of times he is the last one standing because he's got that huge HP to uh, to go off of. Uh, gain immunity against HP recovery disturbance effects and recover 15% HP at the end of your turn. Your, the damage you deal will be increased according to your current HP. Alright, so how do we want to ruin him? How do we want to ruin him? Where can we use him? Uh, he's been able to solo, uh, he can solo Dragon's Beat. If you have amazing runes, he can solo Dragon Beat 10. Uh, if you have, uh, you can also solo Giants B9 as well, which is cool, because he's got element advantage over that. He's got the, he's got the, he's, he's self heal Like him and Camila, they can solo Giants B9. So if you pull him early game, congratulations for you. He's going to be a nice monster for you early game. Uh, so, and then he's got this, uh, defense, 50% defense leader skill. Not bad. Not bad. So, how generally do we ruin him? His HP goes up very, very high when he's... Actually, we can we can go check what his HP is. Let's check, let's check, let's check. 13,000? 13,005. 13,005. Uh, so this is a nice... Let's check out a couple different builds for him, actually. Attack, crit damage, HP. Okay, hybrid build. Uh, going for lots of speed and subs as well. This one, I'm surprised. Not really a lot of uh, HP or anything on that one. Uh, defense, speed, HP, crit rate. So we wanted to have high crit rate. He wanted to have high survivability. I think he still needs some more HP on here, though. Uh, but this is, I guess, it's his rep also, so it's good for farming as well. Uh, let's see another Chow. All violent, right? This one's got more HP, a little bit less speed. Right, and not as much crit damage. Who is it? Uh, HP, HP, HP? Speed, HP, HP. Oh, I was... I was expecting, like, for, for speed, HP, HP, I was expecting a little bit higher speed. Okay, so it's a little bit different. Not skilled up either. <gasps> not skilled... Actually, this is... I know he uses this in, uh... In Dragon's B10, so I'm surprised it's not skilled up. Okay. He actually... He's free to play. Uh, and he's been playing for a long time, but he does uh, do uh, like a two-man Dragons B10 team, and then he will level up monsters with experience. Like he'll use three food monsters and level them up while he's doing Dragons B10. He doesn't even farm scenario for experience. He just does Dragons B10 that way. Uh, so I'm actually surprised. I'm surprised he has. Why am I going through my monsters? I don't have this. Uh, I don't have Chow. 
Uh, we've got Obey Trey as well. Look, that's a big tanky. Okay, so nice. Huge HP, good speed, good attack, good crit, uh, crit rate, good crit damage. Okay, so really, this is like, this is what you want to, this is one of the ones you want to try to shoot for. Uh, attack, crit damage, HP. But look, he's still got great, even though he's got attack on here, he's still got a good HP sub. So just overall really high value runes. Look at that. Okay. Because we still have, we still have, uh, what, 36,000 HP on him. Before any leader skills or totems or whatever. So, there we go. And then the uh, $10,000 chow. Here we go. We'll check out the $10,000 chow. I don't know if he changed it, but this is uh, 40,000 HP. Not bad. A little bit less attack than the other one. Good. He doesn't need the accuracy, right? Because he, he only has one dot. Who cares about accuracy for chow? Um, resistance 36%. He will already resist... Naturally, with the uh, with the passive, he'll already resist the uh, the heal block. So he's got HP here, crit damage, and HP overall value runes. And he went with energy, probably just because that's the best stats, right? He probably was like, eh, I would like another two set, but energy is going to give me the best stats overall for what I need here. Probably, probably for this rune specifically. Probably for this rune, he was like, okay, this is gonna, this is the rune that sold him on the energy two set. So, otherwise I think he would have chose maybe something else. Like, energy? Really? Really? Well, 15% uh, extra HP, and he's got really, really high base HP. So those are some, uh, those are some of those chows. The chow chows. Then we have Sekhmet here. Uh, Sekhmet is lots of debuffs, so we really do need high accuracy on her. Uh, we've got attack power break here, we've got uh, triple- she's like Bastet. Uh, in a way, because she's got the first skill and the second skill, like Bastet. But the third, she needs, needs, needs accuracy. Because she's got this, um, even though I know some people are like, What she resists? She gets resistance sometimes, even with high accuracy. That's what happens. That's accuracy and resistance. Plus it's broken too. I agree with you. It's kind of broken. Where like, trust me, the amount of times my Chiwu's like, tries to strip, he strips absolutely no one. I'm like, well, I lost this entire match because Chiwu doesn't do anything. And if I had Tiana, she would, you know, just better, right? Uh, so this is actually, she was, when she first came out, she was used for arena defense uh, to counter Tiana teams. Uh, or to potentially cut in. Uh, she was rude a lot of times on Swift uh, to cut it. But her, the thing is her low base speed. So that's why she kind of got stopped being used. Because you could just outspeed her and... It's really hard to get her super fast. That's why she was ruined more with Swift. Now, really not so much. Now she's still used in RTA uh, because this is really strong. We have this debuff, attack power break. Okay, we have this, three debuffs. Uh, not bad either. And then we have this, steals all beneficial effects and sets the enemies. Steals, not even... This is like a, an amped up version of Okiano's second skill because Okiano's will strip one beneficial effect Hopefully it's the immunity, right? Otherwise you're screwed anyway. Uh, if it's like, if it's a different beneficial effect, if it's like attack buff, yay, okay, well that doesn't help us, you still got immunity and we get resisted, whatever. So this not only strips, but it steals, so she gets them. So like, let's say you're going up against the Wusa, and he's got the shield and he's got the immunity, you can, like, uh, that he did on the team, you can steal that, you get the three turn immunity, you get the three turn shield for yourself, and then whatever, like if it's Wusa Perna, and then you can reset the Perna down to max skills. Really nice. Uh, mostly right now used for RTA. I mean, sometimes in arena defense, but you used to see her more. The thing is her low base speed is why she's not used more in arena, uh, in, in arena defense. You still see her used in Guild War defense uh, as well. Uh, but she can be ruined either. She should be ruined with high speed. Either way you go, she needs high speed, she needs high accuracy, absolutely. Um, for RTA, for world, world RTA Arena, I would go speed, defense, HP, speed, HP, defense, and try to get speed, a lot of speed, a lot of accuracy, a lot of defense, a lot of HP stats. I wouldn't worry about crit rate, I wouldn't worry about crit damage, I wouldn't worry about uh, attack, I wouldn't worry about any of those. Uh, resist is kind of nice for her as well, just in general. Um, it is not, but I wouldn't really focus on that. If you get it, you get it. But, um, I wouldn't focus on the attack 
the attack subs at all. I would just focus on speed, accuracy, HP, and defense. Those are the those are the main ones that you want to focus on for her. And you can go either swift. You can go. Um, the spare is also nice because she's got the AOE. Uh, or you can go violent, which just gives her more turns. More. Uh, I think mine is on violent on my alt account because I have her on my China, but I think she needs to be re-runed anyway. I'm not sure what exactly. I gotta go look at the runes and see. Really what I would do is I'm gonna look at the runes and see what I can put the best value stats on for her and then probably go with those. Uh, and then she's got this HP of all uh, ally monsters as well. Another thing she's good for, she's good for, she's got the attack break, she's got three debuffs here, she's good for uh, raids too. So that's not bad. That's not bad there. Uh, I think she's... Is she good for Rift Beasts? She could be good for... The... She could be alright for the Fire one. She Because she's got this, she's got the Defense Break at least. And she's got, um... Multi-hits, especially if you're using, like, Xiaolin. Uh, for, she's got the AoE, right? But if you're using Xiaolin, Xiaolin's gonna do damage based on the amount of debuffs on the enemy. Uh, so for, like, the Fire Rift Beast, you could use, uh, you could use that with her. Uh, would be a nice combo with Xiaolin, or I'm trying to think of other monsters that do damage based on extra, extra debuffs. But yeah, RTA, Guild War Defense, uh, are good for her. Actually, this team right here, I've seen in, like, this, all three of these Nat5s, I've seen this literally Guild War Defense with Sekhmet, Leader, and then Ritesh and Chow in, in Guild War Defense before. So, lols. Uh, but you gotta be... I don't know if it was a trap team, like, anti-copper, if it was just not, like, a high-level team. I mean, it's decent, it's not the best, but I think if, if you were gonna do that, I would do it. I would do a kind of a trap. I would do kind of a trap to be, like, anti-copper. Uh, anti-copper and bulldozer, that's what I, that's what I would see that team being hit with. Uh, alright, and then we have Ritesh. Beautiful! I would love a Ritesh, I would love a Ritesh. Another tanky bruiser, kind of like Chow. Uh, yeah, kind of like Chow. Does damage based on, uh, what? Because he's an HP tank. He's got a lot of HP, so he can soak up some damage. He can take a couple hits. Uh, he also has a heal in his kit, too. So he has sustain as well. That's why I'm saying, saying tanky bruiser. Uh, even though he does damage based on his HP. Let's go, let's go see his, uh, his awakened form. That's awakened form. Because his awakened form is he changes this, right? Uh damage his skills proportion to your max HP will increase your attack speed for two turns if it lands as a critical hit. Uh which means okay, so you want crit rate on him to make sure that but I wouldn't go crit rate on slot four unless you have amazing, amazing, amazing subs, right? Uh I would not go crit rate on slot four. Uh recovers 40% of the max HP through meditation. And then we have Trick of Wind, trick attacks all enemies, uh, defense break, portion to your max HP. So, everything portion to his max HP, what do we want to ruin him for? We want to ruin him for tons of HP. He's got 13,500 HP. That's a lot of HP. That is a ton of HP. You can stack that crazy. Oh my god. So, what could we do? We could do, I think, Violent. One option is the Damage Dealer build, like Violent and Blade. Uh, HP, crit damage, HP. Uh, try to get good uh, crit rate subs. And the other one is the support build. Try to make him as fast as possible. Speed, HP, HP. Like, Violet Will support kind of thing for PvP. And try to make him just stupidly fast. Uh, stupidly fast, stupidly tons of HP. I would go heavy on... Heavy on the HP more so than the defense, just because everything's based on his HP. Uh, but also very, very fast. Let's see uh, what... Riteshes we have because I think we have some Ritesh reps. We don't have any Sekhmet reps and I'm trying to think of who has Sekhmet in the list. I thought we had some Ritesh reps. <gasps> no Ritesh reps. No Ritesh reps. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go. I know he's got a Ritesh. So let's check out his Ritesh. I'm sure a lot of them, I'm just trying to remember who, I don't remember who off the top of my head has a Ritesh except for him. So, let's see how he has his Ritesh rune. 296, 196 speed, sorry, 196 speed. The accuracy is a little low on him though, damn. 
good enough crit rate to make sure he crits uh, whenever possible with his first skill. Not bad. That HP is crazy, over 40,000 HP. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Attack, crit damage, crit rate, HP. Not grinded. Fortune, not grinded? Oh my god. HP on here. Wow, he could even do better there. Oh my goodness. And then this one's, this one's pretty nice. 17 speed, that's a nice one. Uh, speed here. Not grinded. I'm surprised that these are not grinded. But these are the stats you want to go for on him. Speed, HP. Mostly speed and HP. And then crit rate and defense uh, after that as well. Uh, and this one's got a lot of HP, a lot of speed. Like, this one's a nice rune. Nice rune. Alright. But even so, even like as good as that one is, there is even still room for improvement as well. So those are the Nat 5s of the week. Damn! Damn, boy. Let's talk about a little bit more, a little bit about these, uh, these Nat 4s. Okay, we've got Susano. Eh, he's got a great speed lead. So you could take him in with Orion, you could take him in with Wayne, the Water Bounty Hunter. I think that's where he's most useful. Uh, speed crit damage attack, since he's used with, because of this, uh, damage increased according to attack speed. So speed crit damage attack is what you would get the most damage out of that for, and also he can be speed synced with whatever else you're using. Um, I know, I know some people that use him for Guild War offense with, I, I want to say it's Wayne. I want to say it's Wayne that they're using him with. But I mean, you could combo him with Wusa and, and weird stuff too. Because then you're just like, then you're gonna, you, with Wusa's base speed being 118, if you have Wusa and you want, and you're considering Susa, I mean, he's not the greatest though. Don't get me wrong. He's not, he's not a game breaking, amazing Nat 4. But you can find some uses for him depending on where you pair him with. Because those ninjas have an awesome leader skill. That's the thing with the ninjas. They have the awesome leader skill. And then the damage based on uh, attack speed as well. Uh, was that always like that? I don't remember if that was always based on attack speed. But damage based on attack speed as well. With that that speed leader skill. So it's about who you pair the ninjas with. That could give you a really... you got to pair them with a swift monster. Because of that leader skill. Uh, but without the leader skill, they really wouldn't be anything too exciting. Uh, they really kind of aren't too exciting. But the leader skill... The leader skill is one of the better uh, ones in the... Like, for, as far as element, leader skills is one of the better ones in the game. Then we have this guy, Water Taoist, the better version of the Water Monkey. <gasps> oh my god, gasp, what the hell? Uh, this guy's actually used in TOA some. He's got this uh, attack power break, glancing hit. He's got this uh, speed break, AoE speed break that stuns them as well. Great for TOA, fantastic monster for TOA. Uh, I would ruin him with high speed and potentially violent. He also has a leader skill too. He would be good in the fire rift beast as well. He's got this AoE, plus he's got the attack break here. Uh, really good for that. Uh, and I think since he already will stun, he doesn't need the spare. He will already stun with this. I would go violent and high speed on him. Uh, and then more attack build or more... Uh, or, or more tanky, depending on how you ruin the rest of your team. Like, if you're going for a more aggressive team, then ruin him in comparison. Also, in, in Fire Rift Beast, I would definitely go attack build. Full, like, just attack. Attack for damage attack uh, for that. But for TOA, I'm saying, like, if you're running more of a support monster control kind of thing, and the other monsters aren't on attack, then maybe if he's dying a lot, put him on a little bit more supporty. Supporty like a uh, hybrid kind of thing, but he he should have good speed too. Then we have Vertiheel. Oh my goodness, Vertiheel. Uh, Vertiheel gets good when he is awakened. Awakened. So let's go take a look at Vertiheel because I know a lot of people are like, yes, tell me how to ruin Vertiheel. Uh, early game, speed, crit rate, HP, uh, with Swift Blade is going to be the easiest early game thing to always. This is the best dungeon- well, are there anything faster? Is there any faster dungeon leader skills? I'm trying to remember. Uh, but this is the leader skill you want to use in dungeons. We're using Vertiheel, leader skill, always. He always be leader. Um, but speed, crit rate, HP for early game. And then when you get uh, Sw Swift Blade, and then when you get later on, you could go violent. Right now, uh, the current meta for speed, Vertiheel, for... Uh, not speed, but vertiheal for like the speedy, 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 really fast uh, Dragon's B10 teams. 
is for all your monsters to be high speed and speed synced. But, and Tark is based, like I know people use Tark a lot. Uh, like Galleon to go first, the double Tarks to go second, uh, another damage dealer to go after that, and then Vertiheal to go last, just a little bit of speed less than them, uh, and usually like, it dep I mean, later game, if you can get really high crit rate on him, without having crit rate on four, you can go attack or damage attack. Uh, or you can do just attack, crit rate, attack, and try to get crit damage subs. Uh, and just get speed subs as well and not have speed on slot 2. Right now, my mine does not have speed on slot 2, which... I... I... I'm, I'm kind of torn because it does more damage with that, but... Uh, I'll show you guys mine. He's not the greatest, but... He's slow... Where is he? Oh, he's in storage, okay. He's in storage, but the purpose of him, I needed speed, I needed violent speed slot too for other monsters. So I was really glad to take it off of him, but this is mine currently. Attack, crit rate, attack. He doesn't necessarily need violent for the speed runs. Uh, it, you can put him on fatal, you can put him on rage, you can put him on rage blade, fatal blade, and have attack or damage attack as well. I like to not have this skill maxed as well. Uh, this would be nice to have higher. This would be nice to have just one more skill up. I just don't want it to be reusable in two turns because then he's going to use it more often. And then this one will actually, based on his passive, this one's actually going to give you more uh, attack each boost for your entire team. So I want him to use the first skill a little bit more uh, just to make it more reliable runs. But I still want to, I still want to do more damage. Uh, so I still want to skill that up a little bit more. I keep forgetting that I want to do that. I don't even know what I even use my vampires for. I probably... What did I even feed them to? I don't even know what I fed them to. I don't have any other vampires built. Where are they going? I don't know. <laughs> for legendary pieces, maybe. I don't know. But he... No, actually... I Actually, I'm saving him. Because I, I know I have, like, three vertiheal in... Uh, maybe two Verti. I don't know. I have more Verti heals in storage. As actually, because I, I was like, maybe I might want to build another one uh, eventually. But that's what uh, that's the the current meta for speed is is like f Rage Blade or Fatal Blade uh, attack crit rate attack or attack crit damage attack if you can get really high crit rate and have like 100% because you really need that 100% crit rate. Uh, you need him to keep critting because otherwise his passive does not work. So. Uh, there's no point in a verti heal with a low crit rate. Speed and crit rate are most important on him. Uh, but if you're going like a if you're going a starter like Dragon's V10 team, then I would go more HP. If you're going like a tankier route and you're not trying to do a speed team, then you should go for you should match the rest of your monsters. If your Bell is tanky, your Veramoss is tanky, you're using that team, go tanky on Verti Heal. Uh, so. But if you're going like speed team, then go YOLO on Vertigo. Uh, who else do we have? Olivia! Olivia's got this first skill, Glancing, just like the other ones. Uh, briefing removes all harmful effects on ally target and fills up the, t the ally's attack bar. Nice skill. Uh, I think this is reusable in two turns when it's maxed, I believe. Actually, I have her. Let's go check her out. Let's go check her out. I don't know if she's got any runes on her. I have no idea. If she does have runes, I'll be sh surprised to see. You'll be as surprised as I am. She's probably on. She might be on Swift if she, if she actually has runes. Sure, she does have runes. Okay, she does have runes because she's got boobs, of course. Oh, actually, they, they're not that bad, actually. Okay, uh, and this is reusable in two turns. So the cool thing about her being on Swift, she should be higher speed at my level. She should be higher speed. Uh, removes harmful effect on an ally. Fills up the ally's attack bar. You can choose who you need to move. Like if you're if you're going up against a team and you're like, oh, they have will runes, I will re I will basically like a economy as research. If you've used economy as research, you can you can choose who you want to move in what turn order. So you can kind of manipulate the turn order of your team on the fly if you're doing PvP. Uh, she's used mo uh, moanly, <laughs> moanly. Stop with the boobies. Stop. Uh, she's used a lot in Guild Wars and she's used in Guild Wars with copper. Um, and also in RTA, she was used last season. I haven't seen her too much this season. I saw her a little bit, not anything crazy. She was like all the rage last season, 
mainly because you know Syntac was uh, Syntac was uh, playing with her play, playing with her a lot, so uh, people were building her. And then we have this lockdown, uh, reusable in three turns, uh, defense for three turns as well, uh, defense buff. So you can decrease the attack age of whoever you want uh, on the enemy team, and then increase your defense. So it's basically a constant defense buff for your entire team, which is great, right? It's like Veljul is, I mean, Veljul is not constant, de like, uh, immunity, but it's kind of like that, where you, like, you have the defense buff on your team the entire time. No worries there. It'll always be there. Always. It'll always be there. Uh, but that's why she's used. But it's really, she's, she's used with the briefing, either to, or briefing or lockdown, as, as a speed unit, right? She doesn't need to spare. She could be violent as well. Violent will would be fine for her. But uh, based on, you have that option of, are they going to try to YOLO and do a lot of damage to me? Then I will make sure that I defense buff at the beginning of the match. Or I can briefing uh, fill up the attack age of one of my teammates. Reusable in two turns as well. So you could like, if someone's frozen uh, and a defense break, you could just cleanse it all off, fill their attack age up, and whatever you need next. Like if they, if you need to, re if you need uh, your your stripper to get a turn, you could briefing and have your stripper get a turn. If you need your damage dealer to get a turn, you could briefing and have your damage dealer get a turn. Not worry about if they have any harmful effects on them. So that's the reason she was used a lot in RTA last season. Still used this season, just not as much. Uh, then what do we have next? Asasis. Asasis. Uh, she was used back in the day as a giant speed 10 monster. We tried her out with cleave, uh, like a cleave build as well before. She's not horrible. I think she just, she was back in the day. She was like, oh, you gotta build a stasis, you gotta build a stasis. And I know some of you are gonna be like, I hate the way you say that. Whatever. Uh, but... Didn't we just take her out? Where is she? Uh, she's got no runes on her right now. But... Uh, 878 base attack. Let's go take a look at Lucian. Lucian's, I know he's ignores defense, but... Lucian has 900, so she's got close to Lucian for base attack. Not bad for a support monster, like her defense is a little bit low for a support monster. Uh, but, uh, we've got this continuous damage, we've got this AoE, reusable in two turns. Two turn uh, AoE is not bad. Not bad. And then we have this force field. I know I never maxed her, but uh, but she was used back in the day. You can still use her in a, in a giant speed 10 team. It's just gonna be a little bit, little bit slower. Uh, for a more slower, more reliable uh, Giants B10 team. But that's what, I never maxed her. I was like, ah, am I really gonna put Devilmons into a Stasis? Really? 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 But she's not that bad. I think she's, I think she could be potentially useful in a, because this is a crit, uh, crit rate, not a crit rate, it's a crit resist buff for your team. Kind of like what Beta does. I know everyone's like, oh, Beta, and then, um, but this is, this is not bad. And a shield, too. So I think she could be useful in a, uh, like an, uh, a, in a nemesis way. I think that could, could be like an interesting little way to use her. Like nemesis, triple nemesis assassins. No one would see it coming, right? Triple nemesis assassins. Like, oh, I'm just going to double Lucian that. First Lucian goes, assassins cuts in. She, a, a casus, assassins, whatever you want to say, cuts in. She puts the crit resist up. She puts a shield up. The second Lucian does like no damage. Well, hopefully no damage, right? Uh, so that could be, that could be fun. So. Also, I see some people doing despair just because of the AoE, and it's reusable in uh, two turns as well. So, there's that. Plus, resistance of wind monsters. If you're running a wind team, that's a really good uh, leader skill. If you're running a wind team. So, like Giants B10, maybe. But it's not used as much nowadays. Not really an endgame thing. It's more like a beginner thing. Uh, but, I mean, she does, she does decent damage. For, for being a support monster, she's got good base attack. So, uh, what else do we have here? I don't think we really need to go over these, these three stars. This guy's got CC, he's not bad. He'd be decent for TOA. This guy's a little, 
water damage dealer. Uh, he's got a big damage third skill uh, when he's awakened. This guy I'm not too in love with. This guy's kind of fun to use because he got this passive uh, which ignores defense randomly. He's like sometimes it'll ignore defense. So I have him on full revenge. Uh, I have him tanky like a kind of like a um, hybrid. Like I think HP or damage HP with like like the same the same way you see like those those tanky chows, but he doesn't have great base stats. Uh, but he'll he'll keep revenging and potentially ignore defense, and it's just it's just funny to see people keep hitting him. He uh, will revenge and m ignore defense, and the more he revenges and doesn't ignore defense, the more likely he will revenge and ignore defense. I I'm not I do not feel bad for building him. Um, Soth is Soth. I know you guys hate Soth. Uh, he's got double AoEs though. For th for Nat three, double AoEs with dots uh, is not not that bad. Not that bad. I don't like her. Uh, she doesn't really. She, when she's awakened, she gets the third skill. I don't really like her though. It's just like a team up skill, but I don't really like her. This guy attack power increased by fifty percent, heal by thirty percent of the damage you, you deal. But he's an HP monster. He doesn't have great base attack anyway. Uh, I never I never use him. I mean. Curious to see how he does, but uh, maybe I'll build him one day. <laughs> maybe. And then this guy's another HP based uh, damage dealer, too. So think of them as like mini, mini, mini junior, junior, junior versions of uh, Ritesh. Right? Ritesh is clearly the better one, but they're like super mini versions of Ritesh. Alright, guys. Uh, that's it for this. I mean, all we gotta do now is summon some Nat 3s. The light dark, I mean, I'm. High, ho high hopes. Don't have high hopes. It's one light dark. But anyway, guys, uh, let me know if you want me to do more of these. I didn't expect it to be 31 minutes. I don't know why I didn't, because I talked too much anyway, but... Shylock, free food, and a dark mystic witch. Amazing. And I know I don't have... Because the last one was Samoth. The last one was Samoth. That's why I have no stones right now. All right, guys. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you as always in the next one. What is this Super Mario Yoshi's Island music? I don't even. I don't even know. I don't even know.